Gosh, the sun's bright there. Hi there, welcome along to today's vlog. Today is gonna to be another tech review vlog, music tech review, and it's not Tuesday, I couldn't wait to tell you. Uh, but today I am reviewing the Nectar Impact GX61 uh, piano keyboard. I picked this up yesterday on Amazon, uh, mainly because my lovely trusted M Audio 49 was doing my head in. It's heavy, it's clunky, it's horrible to play, and I wanted to upgrade slightly, but I didn't wanna to spend too much money. But there's also a number of other requirements that I had. Oh, by the way, while I'm here, please click a like while you're here. It really makes a difference to the videos. And if you're not already subscribing, please do hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me. And it helps you because you know as soon as videos come out, like the follow-up video I'm going to do from this uh, keyboard in a few months' time when I've played it for a little while. Back to the keyboard, though. So what did I need? I needed a keyboard that wasn't too big. This room is effectively my spare bedroom that I've turned into a teaching studio. Well, not teaching studio, a live a studio from which to teach online. Um, and I practice in here. It's not that big. I used to have a huge big studio in my last house. You'll probably, if you go back and watch some of my old vlogs, you'll see the studio I had. I had a big Korg stage piano in there, loads of room for everything. Our space is a premium now, as I guess it probably is for 95% of you as well. So. I needed a keyboard, a MIDI controller that did this. Now, it's important to remember that this is not a keyboard. It has no sounds of its own. It is just a MIDI trigger keyboard. It just triggers MIDI sounds on the piano. So let's go over and have a look at it, how I work with it in Logic or how I am working with it in Logic. So whilst I'm not a piano player as such, I do use the piano a lot. I use the keyboard a lot to input stuff into Spalius. Uh, I get asked to play quite a lot of stuff now for music production, for making library music, for videos for people. Um, I want something that's nice to play and this uh, is pretty good. It's better on the E piano sounds, maybe because it feels a little bit more like a Rhodes than, um, than the piano sounds. You've got a transpose button. Okay, you can also move it through the octaves. It's got 61 keys, so one, two, three, four, five octaves more than what I would ever normally play on the piano. So let's have a little play over that intro music that I just uh, had on before. Um, a bit of a stage piano sound. good isn't it for what you're going to need it for and certainly I hark back to the days when I used to start doing MIDI controller keyboards at uh, the classic Roland JB35 which was my mainstay for many many years I'm a kid of the 90s that's what I learned how to sequence on really that and on all little MIDI sequences so um, yeah so far this GX61 I think it's going to be really complemented well when I get my sustain pedal which should arrive at some point this afternoon. And if I get a chance to show you with the sustain pedal before the end of the video, I will do. If not, catch me in a few weeks' time when I will do a follow-up video. But for price, for quality so far, one little negative. 
keys are a bit, you know the plastic. But one extra really good thing, if you're an iMac user like me in your studio, look at this. I can just roll that back in there and suddenly I've got loads more room on my desk where I can just do my normal work. And then if I need to go back to do my music work, there you go. I don't have one of those big pull out and pull in keyboard things. So, so far I'm really, really pleased with this. So very quickly, just arrived from Amazon. Very cheap, hopefully. Very useful sustain pedal. Give me two seconds. So with the sustain pedal. Look for the right chords. It's a winner with that, with that sustain pedal. It makes a huge, huge difference. Thank you very much for watching today. Uh, I'll be back. Gosh, my hair's all over the shop. I'll be back with the quarterfinals of the Saxophone Mouthpiece Challenge next week, so make sure you're subscribing for that. If you found this useful, the links to both of these things are in the description below. And let me know how you find it if you get one yourself. Highly, highly recommend this MIDI controller. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.